Hello, this is Sky First Cell, and welcome back to another tank building tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build a Panzer III tank in Minecraft. Now, you'll see in the tile that I list this tank as a small tank, as it derivates differently from the normal skill I use when building my tanks. Now, of course, this would not be one of my tanks if it did not feature an interior. If you click here, you can access the driver's seat. If you press shift, you get out and you are in the interior of the tank. Now, one of my favorite features of this tank is the commander's cupola. If you click up here, it works just like a commander's cupola. Now, without further ado, let's build this tank. In this tank building tutorial, I'll be building the tank in layers. Now, for the first layer, you want to get your deep plate stairs and place six blocks like so. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, three blocks across. Next, you can get your deep slate tile slabs and place two here, and do the same on the back side. Now, you can get your stone slabs and you can cover this entire interior with them. Here, you're going to place two iron trap doors, and on the back side, you're going to place three iron trap doors. Now, align with this block right here, this third stair block, you can get your smooth stone slabs. You break these three blocks and replace them with smooth stone slabs. You're also going to break and replace this block with smooth stone slabs. And that completes layer one. For layer two, you're going to want to start with your cyan terracotta. You're going to place four blocks like so. On each of these four blocks, you're going to place oak trap doors facing outwards. Now you're going to get your deflate tile stairs and slabs and you're going to place them like so a slab followed by a stair. You're just going to repeat the pattern going all the way back. You'll do the same thing on the other side. You're then going to get your light gray shulker boxes. Place one here, one here. Place a placeholder block and one here. Make sure it's facing outwards. Alternatively, you can use stone bricks. You're then going to get three stone buttons and place them there, there, and there. You're then going to get an oak sign, place it here, and place it here. On the back side, you're going to get your tripwire hook and do something similar. You're then going to get stone brick stairs and place three upside down, like so. You're then going to get your light gray sugar boxes or stone bricks and place six of them, like so. What you're then going to do is you're going to get your observer, place a placeholder block, and make sure the observer is facing inwards, kind of like so. You're then going to get a comparator and a stone brick slab and place them like this. <clears throat> Next you're going to get your polished andesite stairs, your dropper, and your anvil. You're going to place your two stairs upside down here, here, place the dropper here, anvil here, and then you're going to get your iron trap door and place it down right here. The final step is to get your minecart. You're going to place two rails temporarily, place the minecarts on top of them, and finally remove the railings. And that concludes layer 2. For layer 3, you're going to want to start with your stone brick slabs. You're going to place three across, like so. You get your stone brick stairs, and place two front facing stairs. In the middle, you're going to place one upside down stairs, kind of like this, followed by two more on each side. On the back, you're going to place a full block of stone, or two half slabs, and then cover these five shulker boxes with stone brick slabs. Then you're going to get your carpet and place it on all four pieces of scion terracotta. On this left side you're going to place three iron trap doors followed by one repeater with another iron trap door and with a daylight sensor. On the other side, you're going to place two iron trap doors with a redstone comparator facing outwards, followed by an end rod, another iron trap door, and another daylight sensor. On this back side, you're going to place three iron trap doors. Finally, at the front here, you can get a stone pressure plate, place it in the center, get your end rod, you can replace this with a fence gate. Place it right here, and you can get a spruce sign. Now here you can go to the second row and punch in five equal signs. And that concludes layer three. Before we get onto layer four, you may notice that 
When activated, these daylight sensors activate these trap doors. To circumvent this, we can replace them with light gray carpet. Additionally, you're going to get your dark oak fence gate, place it here, your dark oak trap door, and place it here. For the final layer, you're going to start with your stone brick slabs and place six like so. You're going to place two more right here and right here. You'll then get your stone slabs and place three across. You'll then want to get your daylight detectors and place three here for your gun barrel. Then you're going to want to place a placeholder block right here, then add your minecart in. You're then going to want to get your smooth stone slab, place it like so, and then push it down with a piston. The stone pressure plate will be the cherry on top. Now finally, <coughs> you'll get two iron bars and place them like so. Now if you don't have an end rod here, you can just simply replace it with a <coughs> arm bar. And that concludes the tank. If you're wondering why I classified this tank as a small tank, it's because this is on a completely different scale from my usual tank builds. As you can he see here, here's my Panzer IV in a normal scale, and here's a Panzer IV in the small scale that I have. Anyways, if you like this tank building tutorial, please consider liking, subscribing, or simply do neither, because most importantly, you should enjoy the rest of your day.